Hi guys, Lionheart here with a completely different video from Noor. I've just gone out and bought the MSI GX740 uh, as a gaming laptop, or I bought it from Novatech, which I buy most of my stuff from. It's called the i5 on there, and I'll put a link in the description to go get it. Currently, it's I think it's around about £100 cheaper than anywhere else in the UK. Now, a couple of you guys, the spec of this, I'll just go over it first, is an i5-430M processor, which turbo boosts up to 2.56, I believe. 4GB uh, of RAM, DDR3. 640GB um, hard drive. And a ATI-5870 Mobility, 1GB uh, GDDR5. Um, now, some of you guys will say, oh, hang on, the, isn't the GX the i7 or the other way around? In the UK and Europe, you can only get the i5 version, I believe. Uh, in, a, in the US, you can get the i7 version. Of course, you can always, if you want, upgrade the processor, if you have the know-how to do it on a laptop. It's actually not too hard. The socket type on here does support the, um, say, the i7-720M. Okay, so now we're going to actually open this box up because I'm really excited. I'm like a child at Christmas. <laughs> so, get this tape off here. Oh, maybe I don't want to rip the side bits off. I'm going to get some trusty scissors to do that bit. So I probably should leave that info on there. You never know. Shut that away. Bye bye, MS. All right, right. Okay, so we're going to look in the box. And this is a cool feature. You get a free case MSI bag, which is actually a rucksack, which is awesome. It looks uh, really nice. So you can see it there in its packaging. Really nice and padded. Um, nice and squishy. Not too much like heavy branding on it. It's quite nice. Just the odd MSI on there. So that's in the box there. It's being filmed on my sort of bed. So uh, excuse that. Right, now we're into the main bit of the box. I'm just going to take it out. Oh. Now, actually, I probably should say the weight of this laptop is 3.2 kilograms. Now, to put that in perspective, my old Novatech laptop, which is over here, if we look, which is an old Clevo-style chassis case, um, a dual core with a with a NVIDIA GeForce 7600 in it. So we'll just show it's 15 inch. Done me well. Obviously, it's not got that suited for gaming because the dedicated graphics isn't that good, but it's done me well. This weighs um, about 3.6, and obviously you can't. Um, feel the weight, but this is lighter than that, and this is a 17-inch laptop with a lot more uh, kit in there. But it just shows how technology has improved. So now, tentatively opening the front bit, it's pulled off a bit of paper. Don't mind that. I, what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be really picky about this and preserve the box, is just stick the black bit up there. Lots of you now going, oh come on, get just get to the laptop. I'm getting there slowly. Bend those bits back. Ooh, weird noise. Right, so if you look in here, this, the laptop's in here without the battery inserted. Now I'm just going to take this bit out first because I believe this is where all the sort of peripherals and bits are. So we're just going to move the box, the laptop over there. Ooh, it's going to fall over. Rest it back there a bit. Right, so in here we have. Oh, wicked! I didn't expect that. You get a mouse as well. Oh, this is and a gaming mouse. So there's all the info on there we scroll if we go down we can see the aspect ratio and whatnot and it'll take it looks pretty nice it's got um, two little buttons there for back and forward scroll indicator it's got 3200 CPI I have no idea what that means uh, it's got game profile so I'm guessing you can set up this off macro manager OSD setting um, yeah so you've got stuff down there macro management smart DPI optical six button that is, that's a nice bonus. Now, when I bought this, I didn't actually know, depending on where you buy it from, you don't necessarily get a case and the rest of it. So, that, that's a nice surprise, the actual bag and the mouse. That's awesome. And this, guys, is for £900. It's a bargain. Okay, so in here we've got the, the battery. Now, again, the difference between some European versions, UK and US, you will get a 6-cell or a 9-cell battery. Obviously, the 9-cell is going to last you a lot longer. Um for general web browsing and slightly longer for gaming uh, but obviously I'll be plugged in most of the time for gaming um, I have no idea which one this is, I think reading on the site it was only a 6 cell battery I'm just having a look at it here um, 
So there it is, it'll just plug into the back of the laptop. I'm just going to have a read on there. I can't see anything about cell wise, but I'm guessing it's the 6 cell because um, that's what it said on the site. So, next bit we've got the huge brick, power brick. Woo! That slid out nicely. There we go. I'm just going to chuck that in the box over there. So, we've got the power brick, battery, we've got the power cable. I'm going to take all this out and plug it in actually so that when I do turn the laptop on for the first time, it's got some juice. There probably will be some power in the battery though. I've got a, a screen wiper, that's quite nice from MSI, so take a look at the stuff. We've got um, dri general drivers there, well they'll all come installed because it's got Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit installed. We've got a two year warranty um, service book, so you can take a look at all the stuff that will uh, do it. Obviously not in, is that Chinese or whatever. Anyway, screen wiper. Then we have, welcome PC Simplified, micro start, PC only. Uh, so yeah, I think that's my uh, CD keys, or it'll be my, um, I think this is an OEM version, so it'll be just my repair discs, if they've given that. They've given me a oh, limited warranty card, I need to fill it out and send that off, so I'm all covered there. A uh, good thing about buying it from Novatech, guys, uh, if you're in the UK, is that they will actually, um, most manufacturers say they give you a year's warranty from the place you actually buy it, but... Um, because there's a two-year MSI warranty, if you take it back to Novatech, they will actually sort it all out for you. You don't need to have to send it off to MSI. So there's installing express cards and other stuff, upgrades, what have you, CE compliance book, yada, yada, yada. Let's get to the fun bit, take the battery and the power brick, and I'm going to fold that bit down in the box there. Whoop. I'd just like to uh, give credit to the cameraman skills of my brother here. Um, the link to his channel will be in the description for you guys. Uh, I'm just going to put this in the box. Okay, right, so let's pull that over here. Uh, okay, I've got the mouse and packaging. Dun, dun, dun. Right, so here we go, getting a look at the old laptop. Now, not as heavy as I thought it would be. i um, just going to put that box down on the ground. <coughs> If you're hearing any fans in the background, you shouldn't do, but that's just my main PC. Which I do most of my gaming on anyway, but this will be a good start. Those two blocks that held it in, back in the box. So, it comes in a static bag sleeve, so I'm just going to take it out. And already, actually, it's not that heavy. I can sort of feel the weight. Um, I'll just confirm it, I'll show you. Do you want to try out the weight? Confirm. It's not too bad, is it? No, oh, sorry. Good stuff. If you think I'm just sort of cloning my voice twice there, no, I have an identical twin brother. Go check out his channel, as I've already said. So, let's take a look at the outside of the laptop first. Um, that's where the battery will go, obviously. I'm just going to chuck it in. This needs that way up. So, yeah, it does actually stick out the back of your laptop a bit, but not exactly going to be a problem. I can't think of any situation where that would be an issue. Obviously, to take it out, you do the two clips at each side and it'll uh, come out. Oh, oh they actually um, they click in. It's not like a spring. Oh, one spring loaded, one's actual a proper click. So that's cool. It's now properly locked in. So let's take a look at the bottom first. We've got a subwoofer here, which is pretty cool. Okay, it does look like they've just stolen a, what do you call it, um, a hubcap almost of a car and shove that on. But yeah, hide, hiding the uh, Windows install bit there. We don't want to let you guys have that. I might have to fuzz that out. Don't trust you guys. <laughs> Now, so and we've got speakers here as well, which look, I mean, it's not too obviously garish with the, um, and it, is it infrared or, yeah, my brother's shot, uh, shot, uh, nodding his head there. Probably LED lights as well. Probably probably LED lights, as Heads I said. Up. And uh, yeah, right, let's get to the proper bit. We've got a, a sleeve over the top hit bit here. I'm not going to take it off yet. I'm going to be, uh, well, we've got a little G series written down here, obviously for gaming. If you can see, I'm not sure you can see, but it's the little red writing in sort of the left side of the screen. I open it up, obviously that was on the screen, protecting it, or the keyboard, I don't actually know. So we've got a webcam at the top there, 2.0. Now let's uh, come back out and take a look at the whole laptop. So over here we've got the full spec, which some, some reviewers have actually commented on and said that they don't like the stickers on the laptop here, because it, it hurts your hand when you rest on it. Oh, diddums. Dear, oh dear. Come on, that's got to be terrible if that's going to really hurt your hand. So here we've got, we've got surround, premium sound. Intel i5, uh, uh, Windows 7, 64-bit, ATI mobility, all the specs there, etc, etc. And um, it's pretty light. Um, now, let's look at the keyboard briefly. Oh, okay, we'll look at the um, 
the top multimedia pad. These are all touch sensitive. When I turn it on in a minute, you'll see they should all light up. It's got an eco mode which saves the battery. We've got the power button over here. And I actually really do like the red trim. Some, again, some reviewers have said they don't like the red trim. Now, looking on the side, what have we got here? We've got a laptop lock. Which, what's that? That's the. What do you reckon that is? That's the even. Modem. Mo oh, modem. Then we've got a, an Ethernet. Ethernet port. Two USB. And now it's 2.0, not 3.0. A USB drive. Uh, no, USB drive. DVD drive. You can get a Blu ray put in there, I think. Um, not from Novatech, because generally they're just selling on, at the moment, MSI's stock brand and stock units. Okay, and on the left hand side, we've got a card reader. It's a four in one card reader. A USB. Uh, Slot, um, what's that one? That's an eSATA, eSATA, and then it's a firewire. That next one, I think, and then we've got plenty of audio output and input, and input. <laughs> and then, which I like on this laptop, which should help with the cooling, we've got a, a fat um, the grill here for the graphics card at the side. And then, if we go to the back, we've got another one there. We've also got an HDMI at the back and a VGA, I think, out. Yeah. VGA out, and then obviously, that's the power uh, uh, port at the back. So Right, now me holding this up, it isn't actually that heavy, but generally most laptops you don't want to be swinging it around for ages. So that's enough of the, actually we'll look at the keyboard as I was saying earlier. Now some people who haven't used laptops before won't know that generally the function control keys are switched around uh, compared to a, a standard desktop keyboard, which some people will be like, ah, trying to crouch with keys with control you'll get used to it guys also the enter button is probably smaller than some guy uh, some of you re remember i'll just show you my 15 inch laptop over here if you have a quick look over here with the camera and um, we see there's a nice big enter button but obviously let's look back at the the new laptop bye bye old laptop <laughs> we've got a numpad over here on the right hand side as well which would be useful for sort of macro managing games we've got an enter button as well which is nice a full uh, numpad over there which is which is really nice i like that so um well, uh, I'll, I'll show another video uh, briefly, or add it on to the end of this, um, which will show the, the first start-up of this. I haven't actually turned it on yet. It's all brand new. I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this part of the video. Um, yeah, cool.